I'd like to share a few tools that I have found helpful with virtual diabetes support, management, and education. So I'm gonna go through five things that I have found helpful. The first thing is to keep in mind that most people do not have faxes at their home. So I have had my clients take photo food logs, also photos of their blood sugar records, and that can be really helpful for your review. If the client is willing to use a digital app that has those sharing capabilities, you would definitely want to go with that. That would be more ideal. I do encourage my clients to email this prior to our scheduled session to make sure that I have those available for my review prior to our session. The second thing is when showing portion sizes, make sure that you have two items that you can compare. So for example, if I held up this for my client and said this would be an eight ounce cup, it's hard for them to visually see exactly how much this eight ounces is. So rather you would then compare and say this would be closer to a 16 ounce cup and you know, making them understand this would be the one that I want you to utilize. So having that visual comparison can be really helpful when it comes to comparing portions. The third thing is electronic handouts can be helpful to discuss carbohydrate counting, nutrition label reading, and also meal planning. So emailing these prior to your session can also help not take time away from your session uh, with your client. So do that prior if you are able. The fourth thing is with the client being at home, it's actually a really good way to practice nutrition label reading. So have them grab a few things that they have in their pantry or their kitchen. So for example, if you had them grab a, a can item, you could say, you know, what's the serving size? And they'd be able to look at that and tell you. Also, you know, how many carbs is in there? So it's something that they can visually have hands-on to be practicing. So maybe you use canned item, maybe you do a box of cereal, whatever the client chooses to, to practice on. The fifth thing is I would make sure that at the end of my session, I am emailing my client with the goals that we had set for our meeting. So even if the client's taking notes, you don't necessarily know that they're jotting down the exact things that we had agreed upon. So I like to make sure that that is in a documented form so the client as well as myself knows what the goals that we're working on. Hope these are helpful.